Hello everyone, this is Prashanta. Welcome to Python Automation Selenium series. Today we are going to see the very important topic, Selenium weights, sleep, implicit weight and explicit weight. What is weight? So why are we using a weight? So basically, Selenium is a asynchronous process. Asynchronous means every process don't depend on another process. So when you see this website, when I'm typing some email ID to log in, when I click on this button, it takes couple of seconds to load to go to the next page so but our script cannot wait what will happen our script will make a failure because uh, the next line of code i'm going to write a first name letter but my code is cannot wait so i need to teach my code uh, see here after clicking here you can wait for a couple of seconds after that do this job so we are making this as a synchronized job okay so we are going to see how to achieve this there are a couple of ways first is uh, Python inbuilt space like a waiting concept. Okay, so for this we need to import a time. So we are making going to make our script to hold for some seconds. Okay, so how to achieve that? So I already imported a time. So time dot sleep in this I need to give a second. So I'm telling see here you can on the 17th line when are you coming to the 17th line you can wait hold for two second then you can ex execute the 18th line so this is a basic python weight okay so in sel in selenium there are two kind of weights one is implicit weight another one is explicit weight so what is this implicit weight so basically we i uh, first class i taught you dom so our entire website is a dom so we are making our dom to wait for some particular period of time to load all the web elements in a page so implicit means weights what implicit means means it means it's almost all for all the web elements in the page to load for some certain time okay how to achieve that so we need to achieve driver dot implicit weight see this driver sort implicit weight in this i need to give three second five second anything so basically where we need to use the implicit weight means so when you're loading a new page are uh, are moving to new page so those times you want to use implicit weight that is make every web elements to load okay so what is another option another option explicit weight so this is for some particular condition so uh, take an example you are waiting for some alert to come are you waiting for one button to click so when you waiting for one text bond to one enable so those kind of some particular best of things we are using explicit weight for this we need to import two things one is I need to import Selenium WebDriver support from WebDriver wait. After that, you are going to import a condition. As I said earlier, we need to give some certain condition. So how to implement a explicit wait? So first of all, we need to create one variable. In that variable, you are going to call a WebDriver wait. See this? This is a WebDriver wait class. In this class, you want to pass two things. Okay. One is a driver. Another one is how much time you are going to wait. So I am telling 5 seconds. Okay. So this is a maximum is 5 seconds. You can ask if I get the element in first second itself, what will happen? The remaining 4 seconds is saving. So I won't wait 5 seconds if I get the my condition passed in the first second itself. Okay. Here I get the web created a explicit wait. How are you going to implement? Wait until condition. So until is an inbuilt method of a explicit wait until here I want to give a condition so for this condition I am making allies as a EC okay so EC dot so see this this are the uh, like uh, conditions like visible TF element you are waiting for a visible TF element the element present is located element to click you want to suppose you want to click on link or image so you before going to click you can check up wait for some time like element to clickable text to present of course you are waiting for a text to represent in a screen so you can wait for a text or visibility of something or alert in a present when you are waiting for alerts so wait when you are waiting for a windows to handle when you are waiting when, like waiting for a frames to uh, disable like enable so those kind of things you can achieve okay so here i am going to use a visible tf element so i am checking this element is visible or not okay so in this element we need to give a pass the locator Okay, generally, so in the sa same case, you can take this website. So first thing, I'm going to inspect this from like email ID address. So this email ID ID is what? Email. Okay, I'm copying this. 
in our code after going to the code i'm going to find driver dot find element so here we are going to use a id and i'm passing the id in that id i'm going to send keys send keys from mail id like it tested at, at gmail dot com okay so after that entering the email id i want to click on this button so i'm inspecting this button okay simply so here you see id is what enter image so i'm copying this after entering the email id i'm going to find driver dot find element by dot id and id value is this here i'm going to what click because this is the image is a click element so as i taught you previously mostly this web like implicit weight we can use on the whenever you going for new web page okay or different web page okay after that clicking i am going to use this condition right now i wait for 2 seconds after waiting i am going to comment this remaining uh, methods so i am going to wait for 2 seconds after waiting 2 seconds i am going to type the in the first name okay that is my condition so in the type so i am checking for some condition so i am taking the placeholder so i am going to write a export this export for this placeholder so right click double slash input tag in the input tag i am going to use a at attribute in the at attribute i am going to give the placeholder because this is a unique in this place so see this it's highlighted for a first name and it's one of one so i'm copying this xpath after waiting for 2 seconds i'm going to write driver dot find element by dot xpath and i'm going to pass the xpath in this text box i'm going to write a name like i'm typing like nigarika okay so i'm going to run this code okay so now you got it why we are using a wait so wait to some certain action will take a time in a website okay so that times we can wait for some action to happen then after that you can ask a code to execute okay in most of the real time for errors will come on the in this kind of issues only okay see this to see this it entered the name okay so this is a one kind of wait okay so here i'm commenting the this this normal python uh, well uh, wait condition again i'm going to use the implicit wait so this implicit wait will wait for all the web element to load okay so again i'm right click and running this code so this implicit wait you know this implicit waits for all the web elements in a page okay it will wait for all the web elements for 3 seconds to load suppose you have video in a in a website so that we video need to in like execute so those kind of places we can use this okay so it's got loaded it's entering the email id i'm clicking it and it will wait for all the web elements to load in this page see this it's entered okay so this is the implicit wait right now we are going to use a explicit wait how, how we will achieve this okay so this i said earlier we need to give a condition okay i'm going to uncomment this uh, uh, the wait okay here i as i said before i told you like we need to give a locator for which locator we are waiting so i'm giving a condition here so this when so here see here so when the condi i when i give a, a valid xpath i can send it directly send keys here so when the when i find this web element is located in the system in in the given 5 seconds before the 5 seconds so this will what will do it will enter the send keys okay so this is the use of particular condition using explicit wait okay so mostly in project level we will use the explicit wait only in all the places to reduce the 
कोड फेलियर ओके बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ दिन समटाइम्स वी हैव अ लोड लोड विल गेट अ लो लोड टाइम नेटवर्क फेलियर अप्लीकेशन मे बी वेरी स्लो सम प्लेसेस सो एट द टाइम वी नीड टू यूज अ वेट मोर दैट इज अ रियल टाइम वी फेस लॉट ऑफ इश्यूज इन लाइक दिस कैंड ऑफ वेट्स ओनली सो बेटर यूज लॉट ऑफ वेट कंडीशन टू आक्ट बेस्ड अपन एक्शन ओके सो सी इन it's typed the name okay so thanks for joining in if you have faced any use please put me in the comment i will help you with over there okay thanks for joining in